Joining us now is Jim Scheffler, area horticulturalist. Jim, one of the big problems that we face when we want to grow organically is how to manage the weeds. Of course, there's mulches and cultivation, but you're studying some other options here. Would you like to tell us about those? Right. Uh, Kim, as, as we start working with people with organic vegetable production techniques and getting to know organic growers and people interested in it, something we realized real quickly that weed control is a very serious issue with them. And like you said, cultivation is one option, plastic mulch, but each of those are limited in what they do and the situation they can be used in. There, uh, there's a perceived need that we really need to have some kind of things we could use that can control weeds that have started to grow. Mm -hmm. uh, and there, there's there's non-organic type herbicides that can be used, but again, you can't use an organic. Right. Consequently, uh, people are trying to develop some uh, some herbicides, if you will, that could be used in organic situation. And these are generally to be naturally occurring materials. And things like vinegar and, and some fatty acid products are some of the examples of things that have been, been developed and worked with. Okay. Now, I'm sure that th how these are applied and the timing is going to be very critical to the success of the product. Is that correct? Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In in general, the smaller the weed, the easier to control it. When they get up to is like some you see here, four and five and six inch tall weeds. That's pretty tough for any of these materials to control them. But if you're down to the, to the uh, one to three or four inch stage, uh, there, there's good possibilities there. But also depends on the weed species. So. That's true. Yeah. Now in these trials you're going you're applying the herbicide directly alongside the plant right what we if again these materials they'll control weeds but they'll also control the crop plant mm -hmm. so we need to look at directed type applications uh, where you where you use a sprayer where you hold it carefully so it sprays the weeds and doesn't spray the crop you may have some kind of a shield or some kind of a something there to protect and keep the spray off the crop now you mentioned vinegar. I'm sure I'm going to get a whole bunch of calls about using vinegar. This isn't our yeah. household type vinegar yeah. that's being used, right? No, it's not. And and uh, and some people, I mean, for for very tiny weeds, you may be able to get some control with household vinegar. Uh, that's more in the order of five percent. But what the thing, the material we look at is we've looked up to twenty percent. That's probably more necessary. But about ten percent for for many situations would be good. Uh, you need to keep in mind ten percent vinegar is is. A little bit caustic could be hazardous to your eyes. So again, uh, mm -hmm. just because it might be an organic type product doesn't mean you, ha you don't have to use good safety practices. And that's true for all the organic herbicides right, right. that are available. Well, hopefully we'll have a few more options in the future as uh, you continue with your research. We hope so. We hope so. Uh, again, this work is, uh, I, I do this work with Dr. Chuck Weber with the USDA, and he's really taken the lead on looking extensively at uh, concentrations of these materials, you know, how much We've, we've studied using vinegar up to 100 gallons per acre of pure vinegor, not, not diluted in water, mm -hmm. to get the wheat to, to find out what will work. What's that working? really wouldn't be practical. That would be extremely expensive. But, but again, uh, as a result of this work, we're generating some data that will hopefully be useful. And uh, maybe we'll come up with some new technology that will be useful to organic growers and other growers, too. Absolutely. Well, thank you for sharing this with us and for joining us My today. My pleasure. Enjoy having you here at the station today.